change out this propane tank on our uh, propane uh, forklift here. Yeah, it's the fuel for the forklift. First thing you want to do is make sure that you shut off the tank completely. You know, usually turning it uh, clockwise, righty tighty, lefty loosey. We're going to go to the right to tighten it. Now that we got that shut off, we can take off the, uh, the main supply hose here. You'll have a little bit of residual propane left in the line. You know, that's common for that to leak out just a little bit as you're removing this line. Like so. Anything more than that, and you definitely want to stop and make sure that everything is shut off on the tank before you proceed. Um, pretty standard. This is a clasp that holds down the tank to the actual forklift itself. Take it off. There's a uh, usually a hole here that you line up with the peg on the forklift itself. Just kind of make sure that uh, everything is going to line up where you need it in the direction of the um, supply is going to hook right back up. You know where the hose is, whatnot. to that point and that should put everything in line with um, where you want to connect your hose so again reconnect your hose should only need to go hand tight on this you shouldn't need any tools to uh, to tighten this up. And usually, hand tight is is good enough. And then go ahead and turn your gas to the unit back on, opening that all the way up. Kind of give it a once over, make sure nothing's leaking out of there. Everything's tight and uh, seems to be connected all right. So then we go ahead and reattach the clasp. forklift when it's a propane tank you know for the fuel supply first you want to shut off the tank making sure that the uh, fuel is shut off completely to the unit having done that we can go ahead and disconnect the main supply hose now you'll have a little bit of residual propane left in the line that's perfectly normal for that to come out like that Once you got your hose disconnected, it's usually some sort of a buckle system like that. And remove the old tank. I mean, putting on the new tank, line up the, I think I get you a little guide hole most times. These tanks have some, some sort of hole that lines everything back up to where uh, when you put the hose back on, it's right in the spot you need it. Take that around. Get this clamp back on here. Then you can reconnect your hose. Everything should be in line. You can go ahead and turn the gas back on to the unit. And there it is. Should be ready to go.